Huh? We have a reopening day for... City Walk! Yeah! Welcome back to the Universal Eye, keeping an eye on the latest and greatest Universal news for you. And before we get started, I just want to remind you guys to hit that subscribe button down below, as well as that bell icon so that you can stay up to date and know exactly what's going on with Universal throughout this crazy time. So, I can't believe we're finally announcing this, especially hot off the coattails of the last video, um, Calling Out Attractions Magazine, if you haven't seen that. Link up above and below. They were putting out some pretty preposterous claims that CityWalk was going to be opening up on the 11th. Uh, that obviously did not happen, but that's okay because now we have an official date because of research, because actual journalism. Uh, and Universal has officially proclaimed that this 14th they are going to be doing a soft opening of CityWalk. I'm so freaking excited, you guys. I'm so excited. And I wanted to give a big, 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 big shout out to my amazing friend Marissa who gave me this awesome tip. You are amazing. Please, please go check out her Instagram and her blog. I'll have them both linked down below. Her photos, guys, are absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous. Oh my god. If you are looking for an aesthetic Instagram, please check her out. You're going to love and die for her Instagram. <laughs> But I also want to thank our awesome friend DJ Cow, who for the second time in a row is hitting us with the amazing tips. So thank you also, DJ Cow. He came in hot off the, on the tail of my friend Marissa, like maybe like two or three minutes later, he was hitting me up on the comments in the last video and letting me know what was going on with CityWalk. So thank you guys both so much. So let's get on into it. CityWalk has announced the opening day, and that is... May 14th, so only in a couple days, if you're watching this, the day that I'm uploading it, which is May 12th, two days from now, we are going to have CityWalk reopening, and I might have a special surprise from the reopening, we'll see, but so let's get into more of the details and the nitty gritty. So Universal has stated a few different precautions and limited availabilities, which I want to share with you right now. So, first things first, they have announced that select city walk venues will be open from 4 to 10 p.m. on May 14th, and that self-parking will be free while valet parking will not be available, which is obviously understandable. So, let's read the official statements. Select City Walk venues are open for our guests to enjoy from 4 to 10 p.m. daily. Our team and all our guests should follow in all recommended CDC guidelines. Self-parking is complimentary, valet parking is not available at this time, subject to change. In addition to shopping at Universal stores and select merchandise carts, there are plenty of tasty temptations across City Walk. Each is opening with a delicious but limited menu as well as limited seating. Some venues will remain temporarily closed at this time, including Blue Man Group, All Night Clubs, and Universal Cinemark. We will continue to monitor the situation and make adjustments as needed. Additional venues may be added over time and hours of operations are subject to change. So make sure if you're going, whatever day you're going, to check to see what is available, what has opened up, what is closed, and what's going on. Just to make sure that you're going at the right time and you're not going to go there for no reason. Next, let's talk about the venues that will be open on May 14th. I'm so excited for this. Full service restaurants and quick service food locations, Auntie Anne's Pretzels, Bubblegum Shrimp Co., Jimmy Buffett's Margaritaville, Red Oven Pizza Bakery, and Voodoo Donuts. The shopping venues are including, I'm guessing, an airbrush cart, Hart and Huntington Tattoo Company, retail only, Universal Studio Store, and select merchandise carts. And the entertainment venue, Hollywood Drive-In Golf, is also going to be open. So... It's not a super overwhelming amount of stuff open, but I think that is a very, very good thing that they're doing that, and I'm really excited for it. Um, I can't wait to hear everything from it. I had a feeling Bubble Gump was going to be one of the first ones open, because when I checked recently for my last video, they still said that they were open. I tried calling them, but I didn't hear anything from them, so I had a funny feeling that they were going to be one of the first ones. So let's talk about the important stuff. How are we staying safe during this amazing time of reopening? So, 
they are asking that all team members and guests comply with the following. Two things that are going to be required are face masks and temperature checks. They are asking for you to wash your hands often and giving you guidelines. They are asking to practice social distancing at least six feet apart from each other, aka two meters, for anybody who's from not the US. <laughs> They're asking you to follow along with the floor markings and not to move forward unless the group moves forward in front of you. And please, of course, last but not least, avoid contact with people who are sick. I think that's a no-brainer, but, you know, you have to tell people. They're also reiterating what the CDC has been saying about older guests and people with underlying medical conditions to basically please stay home because of their increased risk of getting a severe form of the illness and, quote, Guests should evaluate their risk in determining whether to attend, the same thing I've been saying all along. People who show no symptoms can spread COVID-19 if they are infected. Any interaction with the general public poses an elevated risk of being exposed to the virus, and we cannot guarantee that you will not be exposed during your visit, which of course is safety and legal reasons. I'm sure they're putting that in there. So let's talk about the section, what other safety precautions are in place. We continue to work close with local health officials and our own health and safety experts and reference CDC guidelines to ensure the safety of our team members and guests during this limited opening of City Walk. All team members are undergoing temperature checks and will wear face coverings. Team members with a temperature of 100.4 degrees or greater will not be permitted to work. Limited capacity at venues to help enforce social distancing. We're also placing signage throughout City Walk to help you follow social distancing guidelines. Continuous and thoroughly cleansing and disinfecting all tables, chairs, and high touch surfaces and offering cashless payments at all venues. So I think that's great. They are also letting everybody know that what about the rest of Universal and they are still following that May 31st ruling that they had given quite a bit ago. It says at least through May 31st, not opening up after. So it could very well continue to be closed through the entirety of June or however long they feel is necessary. I think it's smart that they're opening up City Walk right now so that it could be their testing grounds for whether or not they should reopen Universal Studios sooner or later. So that is everything guys. I feel like I'm out of breath for talking so quickly because <laughs> I am too excited. And I would love to hear your thoughts. Please let me know if you're going to Universal Studios City Walk right now on the opening date. If you're waiting, if you're not waiting, what do you think? I would love for you guys to answer the poll up above and if you are gonna be at City Walk on the opening day I would love to see any photos or videos that you guys have for me I appreciate all of them so definitely make sure to tag my Instagram at Natty Rock so make sure to tag my Instagram at Natty Rock I would love to see that and you might just be featured on my next video so please do go ahead and do that and now it's time for the best comment of the last video and we have a special treat for you guys today my friend Tiffany aka Princess of the Night Sky, is going to be reading to you her favorite comment from the last video. Take it away, Tiff. Thanks, Natty. This is one of my favorite comments, and it's from Carlo saying, they are also terrible at on-ride POVs. As if they've <laughs> never heard of camera stabilizing or low-light camera settings. I think that was my favorite by far. And this is the Universal Eye signing off for now. And don't forget to keep your eye on ours. Bye, guys. Bye.